Welcome back. Let's do our table of contents. Now, in the last video, we set up the headers and subheaders so that our table of contents can be made very quickly. Now, we are going to set up a table of contents that is actually clickable inside the Kindle readers and the other e-readers for convenience so that people can simply click on whatever section they want to go to and be taken directly there. This is important to help people find the information they want, give them a good experience so they'll buy from you again, but it's also important because recently many people who buy a lot of Kindle and other e-reader books are starting to lower their uh, review ratings if there is not a clickable table of contents. That's how important it is uh, to your clients and customers. Now sometimes it might th you might think, oh, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to show you very quick and easy how to do it. And it's definitely worth the few minutes that it takes. Now we're on table of contents here, and we have our cursor on the left-hand side. That's where the table of contents is actually going to be built. So you put the cursor wherever you want the table of contents to appear. Then we go to the References tab, and we click on that. Come over to the left where it says Table of Contents. Click on that. Then we're going to scroll down a little bit down here where it says Insert Table of Contents. Click on that. This dialog box comes up. Now the print preview here is what your table of contents would look like if you chose that style and you printed your ebook out on paper. Now, e-reading people on Kindles and other e-readers do not print them out, so we don't want to use this style. So we come down here and we uncheck the green check mark. We take that out. Then we go to the web preview. This is what our table of contents is going to look like. As you can see, they're highlighted in blue, which means they're clickable links. We want to make sure the green check mark is in this box that says use hyperlinks instead of page numbers. And we want to show all the levels that we have created. If you had uh, just one level, you just put one. I had two, I, so I'm going to put two. I had the main heading and the subheadings. If you have main heading, subheadings, and additional subheadings after that, you know, lower in size, you would put three, four, or however many you have. Now you click OK, and you're done. Now simply review this, don't try to click on anything because again, you're in the template. doesn't look or act very good right now, but it will be perfect in the Kindle e-readers and the other e-readers. Now just by glancing I can see that everything here is fine. All of my, my main heading, headings for the part number one and two are there, and my subheadings are all here. So the very next step is you want to go to the File tab, you want to go to Save As, and down here where it says Save As Type, we have Word 97 2003 document, which we did earlier. Now now you need to turn this whole document because we're ready to uh, convert the document now. You want to scroll down a little bit and you want to go down to what it says Web Page Filtered or it might say HTML Filtered and that's what you want. Not the regular one, but Web Page Filtered or HTML, HTML Filtered. And we click on that and we click Save. Then comes up this dialog box asking us, do we really want to do this? We say yes. And instantly, our ebook now looks like a web page. And it's supposed to because we had to convert it to the HTML before we can convert it to the Mobi Pocket so that it can be converted into the Kindle. Now, by doing this, all of the styles that are inside of that template will be held exactly. And you're going to see in the next video just how much easier that is. So I'll see you on the next video.